Hey guys, how's it going? I just want to give an update on my license situation because I've been talking about that for a while since I've been making videos. I've had two DUIs uh, before I got saved, and my first one was when I was 17, and then my last one was like four years ago. And so for four years I've been working towards getting my license back. It's been a really long process. And I thought that I was at the end of it. I went to my final hearing a few months or a few weeks ago, and my lawyer, the impression that I had was that this was my final hearing, and all I was waiting was for them to approve me, and I was going to get a letter in the mail saying that I could get my license, and I was going to get my license. But uh, what I got instead was an email from my lawyer, and he attached three attachments, and he said, here's what you got to do to get your license. And this is talking about owing a fee. And I've already paid a bunch of fees and stuff, so I thought maybe this was something I already paid. Um, because I thought, you know, my lawyer was like on top of the game and he was having me pay stuff ahead and making sure everything was taken care of. But I guess, uh, I think this isn't something I could have paid until it got approved. So, I mean, the good thing is I did get approved for my license, but apparently there's still stuff I got to do. And I'm not even sure of what everything I got to do, but there's something that talks about taking a test. I got these three papers, I don't know, uh, but it says, uh, I've got a year to do this, uh, but I was really looking forward to hopefully having my license this summer. And, you know, because I don't really have much transportation and, you know, I want to try to get more work and do things. So, anyways, uh, I tried getting a hold of my lawyer and couldn't get a hold of him yesterday or Friday. Because I wanted to ask him, you know, about this stuff. So I'm, I'm waiting next week to get a hold of him more. But I, anyways, I called the, the reinstatement office or whatever it, just to find out if I did have a fee and how much it was. And it was pretty shocking. But, uh, yeah, so he sent me this where I can send in to pay the reinstatement fee. This kind of tells me what I need to do, I guess. This, uh, see, this says that uh, I'm granted to have my license back, but I have to do this stuff. It says, receive a medical report. So I'm not even sure what all I gotta do. I don't know. I've got, it says something about a driver's test. And, uh, I don't know if there's a lot here covering the whole thing. Something about a driver's test, maybe something about a medical test, I don't know. But anyways, the big shock was the, um, the fine that I still owe. And so, I'll show that. So here's the Jesse White, Secretary of State. And this is what I still owe, apparently. Statu statutory summary suspension fee for $500 and revocation fee for $500. So I owe $1,000 still. And I was totally not expecting that. I thought I was just going to be getting my license. I was just waiting to get my license. But, uh, so the good thing is I'm approved, but I, there's still apparently a few things I have to do. And so, yeah, I was totally not really saving up for it or anything. I wasn't expecting this. And I wish that I would have known about this ahead of time. Uh, maybe the lawyer couldn't have told me how much I would have owed. Maybe he wouldn't have known. But, uh, yeah, I just feel like I wasn't really prepared for this. So I'm mentioning this too, I guess, if anybody would like to donate anything, I'd appreciate that, uh, but I don't want anybody to be troubled over it, so I have you know, plenty of time to pay it, but I, the sooner the better, um, because of transportation issues, and you know, I'd definitely like to have it before November when I start working for UPS, but I'm, I'm sure that will happen, and I'm sure it'll be way before then. Actually, you know, my mom and my aunt said that they would pitch in, but uh, I don't really want to be a burden on anybody either. So I'm just going to try to find out what I can do. But uh, I just thought I'd mention that because I've kept everybody updated on my whole situation. So that's that's that. And I mean, I'm really close to getting my license now, but there's a thousand dollar hurdle apparently that I have to jump over. So it stinks, but. Uh, I guess I'm closer than ever, so 
It's just money in the way now, I guess. But I'll mention this too. Not that long ago, I found out one of my old friends, one of my old best friends, is probably going to prison for the second time. He got arrested for having fentanyl, this controlled substance. It's kind of like morphine, I guess. And uh, he's accused of selling it too. And so, yeah, he already went to prison for being involved in selling meth or something. And, uh, I mean, I haven't talked to him for probably a few years. But it's unfortunate. He's got a daughter. But I'm probably going to try to write him, and I don't know how well you know he's going to respond. But uh, I guess you could have him in your prayers. His name is Josh Frakes. And once he goes to prison, then, yeah, I'll start writing him. I mean, I'll probably write him while he's in jail if he's still there right now. But, you know, two, like... Three people that I wrote in prison are already there or already going back. I have my friend Michael Howell. He's still in prison. And then there's some other people I knew, Jake Allen and um, Jared Beans, who I wrote to in prison previously, and they are headed back as well. So that's really unfortunate. But uh, But I do like writing letters, and so it looks like I'll be doing that again. But don't know how people respond, but just thought I'd mention that as well. And it was like Wednesday, I tried doing a video on Was Peter the First Pope? And I was like 45 minutes into it. I was really close to being done. It was maybe going to be like an hour long. And then the computer screen just went black, and I just lost everything. And like when it, when it came back on, when I reset the computer, like the file was messed up, so I couldn't even continue from there. And then uh, I was kind of stressed, so I had a bunch of stuff written on the whiteboard, and I erased everything, and I was like, I'll just do it later, or whatever. And I found out that my my my, my, my whiteboard spray was out, because I've only had this little tiny bottle that I got with the whiteboard, and it lasted a long time, but I knew it was getting close. So then I had to order, like, a big bottle of whiteboard spray, and that finally came in. And so hopefully tomorrow, or sometime soon, I'll go through that video again, Was Peter the First Pope? So, that's that, but anyways, thanks guys for watching and God bless.